What's up, Information Overdrivers? I'm your host, Rebecca, and of course, your favorite cruise control employee. It's the day before NEB opens the exhibit floor, but guess who has a private Sony tour? We do! XDCAM HD recap. The media is a single or dual layer optical disc. The PDW F800 is one of eight XDCAM HD Sony cameras. Tapeless media has more deliverables than Baskin Robbins has flavors. So in our experience, there's three popular ways to deliver XDCAM HD media. One being hand the disc off to your editor. He's gonna digitize that with a deck like the F1600. The second way to wrangle the media would be on site with your crew. So they would bring a laptop and a portable U1 drive and your deliverable would then be a hard drive. The third way would be to edit on site with a mobile editor like this one, the HR1. The MK1 is actually a dual card slot adapter unit for the HR1 uh, field deck. So what it essentially will allow you to do is take advantage of the HR1's features, mm -hmm. playing back, uh, you know, recording, media managing and, and viewing, you know, EX footage. Uh, by using the optional MK1 adapter in, and inserting that into the HR1 field deck. So what live logging does is that it takes a live stream from the camera while you're shooting from the USB port and you can go directly into a computer and using the PDZ1 application on the receive side, look at the live stream. So what that will allow you to do in the typical workflow is that you will be able to log with the footage while the camera is recording. You're able to add metadata to the clips as it's recording. You can create storyboards and then when you're done recording, it'll, it'll automatically update the metadata back to the professional disk that you had created and populated in the software application. System requirements were actually very, um, very simple. Uh, Windows PC, uh, off-the-shelf CPU, you know, fairly last couple of years, it's fine. Uh, and it's no problem, it's very, it's very easy to work with. The NX Cam is actually an ABC HD formatted camera. ABC HD was developed by Panasonic and Sony in 2006, but the NX5 is the first one in Sony's NX Cam family. Well, the ABC HD format is a new high performance, long up uh, compression system. It is using MPEG 4, and it can record audio as either uncompressed LPCM or AC3 audio, Dolby compressed AC3 sound. It has uh, the ability to capture very fine detail and image texture at very low bit rates. So it is possible then with a camera that has an ABC HD format to capture full raster, 1920 by 1080 or, or 1280 by 720 in the case of 720p, uh, which was not possible with some of the other uh, type of sensors and compression systems that were used in the, the previously for small cameras recording high definition. HDV is still running strong and we are not, we don't foresee replacing it or discontinuing it for now. Well, NX Cam can record to three different types of media. So it, it accepts um, a standard, industry standard, either memory stick or SD cards. So uh, the slots that are built into the back of the camera. And in the case of uh, wrangling the, the, the media, uh, during production, you, you have to realize that, for example, a 32 gigabyte card uh, will run about three hours. So it's not necessary to recycle the cards as often because the long up offers a very low bit rate. So if we can achieve high quality at moderate bit rates, we have long record time. So it is possible to just simply take the card and put it on an adapter, a USB adapter, and drag the files directly to your hard disk drive and that's a very simple way to do it. Well, the cool thing for me is uh, Sony's uh, digital asset, uh, digital management solution. Actually, it's a workflow for high, high def, and it's all about going from XD cam all the way to ingesting and uh, digital asset management to uh, color correction and editing. And that's what we're interested in at uh, Safeway. That's our next step. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. But don't stop there. Go on to YouTube and iTunes and search by Information Overdrive. Make sure to leave a comment and rate the video. Until then. So where do you download Information Overdrive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.